ಸ್ತೋತ್ರಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾನಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಂಚಾಂಕ್ರ ನಾಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಸೋ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಯೋಗ ಸೊ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ರಿವಿಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯು ನೋ ಸೊ ದ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿವೋಷನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲಿ bound so this material contamination the uh, gunas combined with the gunas material nature with gunas can pull us down any time so it is very important to know about the guna when which guna acts on us in which act okay that is the foremost important thing so 13 we learnt about our constitution of our body then 14th again about the gunas then uh, 15 about the uh, parmatma i uh, was sorry about the bhagwan that is purushottam bhagwan then 16 17 onwards again bhagwan told what are the things we do in different different gunas continuing the same the lord give enlightens us with more perspective of different activities performed in different as hari krishna so the chapter summary is chapter summary goes like this the main objective is to get ourselves freed from the material entanglement right so that is from 1 to 12 and this a new thing which we are going to learn for doing any action anything you know we need five factors that is unless and until the parmatma sanctions whatever we desire we cannot perform anything so the parmatma sanction comes in the form of five factors to us then the three modes again controlling everything so when we perform these actions how are these modes uh, how are these modes uh, impacting our actions then of course the lord has already uh, designed the four varnashrama dharma guna with four varnashrama dharma then how do we reach the brahman platform from brahman platform the paramatma from paramatma the bhagavan realization that is a pure bhakti so finally the lord concludes with how to be in krishna consciousness because again reaching paramatma sorry reaching bhagavan or uh, mukti or vimukti is not our objective our objective is to serve the lord because our constitutional position is the servitorship jivera swarupa ho krishnera nitya dasa so the real pure devotee does not aim in mukti or vimukti so we if time permits we'll see what is mukti and what is the difference between mukti and vimukti otherwise we will see how to be in pure bhakti so that we are connected we stay constantly in krishna consciousness finally sanjaya concludes as he started the first verse from the sanjay uvacha right dhritarashtra uvacha followed by sanjay uvacha so sanjay concludes finally hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare Arjuna Pumacha, as usual, Arjuna is asking question in the beginning. 
सन्यास्य महाभागो तत्वमिच्छा वेदित ऋषिकेश कृष्ण as keshi demon keshi demon was the demon who came in the form of an actually it is an uh, it's a horse was a kamsa sent to kill krishna when like followed in the category of putana uh, and uh, pralambasur etc then when they could not kill him sakata sura so many demons is sent right so keshi also came obviously as krishna killed all the demons he killed this keshi also that is why here arjuna is addressing him as the killer of keshi now what is the question arjuna is asking what is the purpose of renunciation why should we renounce everything krishna did not tell renounce all your duty but krishna krishna told us be detached from the reward that is the renunciation here we are talking about also the highest order of varnashrama dharma that is grahastha vanaprastha uh, sorry brahmacharya grahastha vanaprastha then finally the sanyasa so why is that order why that order is essential in order to have the pure bhakti these are the two questions of arjuna so now uh, krishna is going to answer him shri bhagwan uvacha kamyanam karmanam nyasam sanyasam kavayo vidugo sarva karma pratyagam pragustyagam chakshana the supreme lord said to give up the results of all activities that is called the activities that are based on material desire is what that is renunciation tyaga by the wise and that shit is called the renunciation order of life that is sanyasa by the great learned man so renunciation tyaga is the process and the order of life in that renunciation position is sanyasa so what is it tyaga you should explain Well, after reading next to two purpose sorry next to two translation we will explain some learned man declared that all kinds of fruitive activity should be given up but there are yet other sages who maintain that acts of sacrifice charity penance should never be abandoned okay so some uh, uh like a school of thoughts they say that all the fruitive activity should be given up fruitive activities is are what bind us with the material nature so if we give up fruitive activities obviously we will be freed from the bondage of the material nature so they are saying we should give it but how to give it up doing karma krishna says karmanya vadikara ste so other set of thoughts of sages other thoughts they say maintain you can do fruitive activities but these fruitive activities should be of sacrifice charity and penance yesterday also we saw what are the sacrifices what are the charities what are the penances austerities we do in different uh, gunas satva guna what is the sacrifice tamo guna what is the sacrifice and rajo guna what is the sacrifice we saw right giving sacrifice for the right cause at the right place without any expectation is said satva guna these things we should not give up even like a sacrifice gana that is also a sacrifice spreading preaching that is also sacrifice but preaching the books of prabhupada it is a sacrifice in the higher order that is the sacrifice done in the 
Asatva guna, that, should, that we should never give it up, right? So for another set of uh, uh, sages say that we should do our act which are in Sattva guna. That is very, very important in order to proceed in the devotion. Devotional service should always be based on Sattvic mode. Okay, then the next one. <laughs> This is a very, very important verse. Act of sacrifice, charity and penance are not to be given up, but should be performed. Indeed, sacrifice, charity and penance purify even the great souls. We have seen in many, many um, examples, sacrificing even all these things, taking the sannyasa, going in renunciation and sitting not with the sadhu sangha, sitting in a separate place, isolation can pull us down again, anytime. That is, we have seen the great, great souls who separated themselves in the sannyasa of highest order of life, renunciation, they were not able to continue their sacrifices and austerities, of course, including penance in devotion. They fell down. Best example, what we saw was Bharat Maharaj. Okay, so it is not Valmiki Muni. So all of them could not continue. That is why we should perform sacrifices charities, and austerities. But they should be based on sattva guna. Okay? Yetanya pitu karmani sangam dekhtva palani cha kartavyani time partha nishchita mata muttamam All these activities should be performed without attachment. Sangam tektva. Sangam tektva, we have been seeing right from uh, second and fourth chapter. Kasarva. Yada yada ji dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutasar. Abhyutana madharmasya tadatmanam sirjamyakam. Bhagavan keeps giving us to give this knowledge of karmanyevadi karaste maapalechu kadachana. Ma karma pala keturbur mate at sangotswa. At sangotswa is nothing but sangam tetva. We should attach the result, reward. We should not have any attachment towards the reward of our karma, what we do. So he says that we should do everything, all of our prescribed duties without attachment or any expectation of that result. So they should be performed as a matter of duty. Opata, that is my final opinion. So we can never deviate ourselves from the duty. That is why Krishna has given the Varashama. But all the brahmacharyas, they should, we should do our duty in brahmacharya. That is the youth. We have to study well. We have to study the scriptures. We have to acquire knowledge. Everything we have to do. Then as a grahastha, why? As a grahastha, one example is to get married and beget Krishna conscious children. There is Garboda sans sanskara. By doing the sanskara, we beget uh, Krishna conscious uh, children. They are very essential to spread the Krishna consciousness. Uh, who is that? I think Bhakti Vinoda Thakur. He has said, even if I have to beget 100 Krishna conscious children, I am ready to do that, provided, you know, to get the Krishna conscious children. Okay? Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is his son, and he is our um, uh, Prabhupada, our uh, Acharya, founder Acharya, Prabhupada's guru. So these kind of gurus, if we have to, definitely, that for that, that um, Grahastha Ashma is very, very essential. Okay? So we should not. That is the reason Krishna has given. So Varnashrama Dharma is extremely important. We cannot escape 
all the four ashramas are very essential. So in 18.7, the Lord says the prescribed duties are, one, if they are not motivated by, one who is not motivated by false ego, whose intelligence is not, not entangled. So sorry, 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 this is the seven, right? Yeah, prescribed should, your duty should never be removed. But at the same time, one gives up his prescribed duty because of illusion. Such renunciation is said to be in the mode of ignorance. So if anyone gives up the prescribed duty, and this, why? Because they are in Maya, and this giving up of prescribed duty is said to be in ignorance, tamo guni. And in 18.8, the Lord says, anyone gives up the prescribed duty as troublesome. You know, because they don't feel like doing the prescribed duties. We don't want to. We saw it in the fifth chapter. You remember, Arjuna asked, if doing, the, um, uh, doing the duties or going as a sannyasa, which is better? There also Krishna says that doing the duty is better, but giving up the attachment that was the uh, karma yoga then above the karma yoga in the jnana yoga beginning of the jnana yoga krishna gives the same thing if you want to give up the prescribed duties because they are difficult you are scared of doing them that is the reason we want to give it up if we do that they are in mode of passion but people who are in who are in goodness they will never give the prescribed duty they will perform their prescribed duty because by doing the duty by doing the karma only we can nullify the previous karma we all have taken birth as a result of previous desires we all come as a human being Human be manusha janma durlabe. That is manusha janma for the reason of taking this manusha janma, human body, is to nullify the effects of previous karma, prarabdha karma. Only then we will be in a position to reach Krishna's koloka vrindavana. Not only that, only then we can proceed in devotion. So if we are to proceed in devotion without deviation, without any negligence, we have to do our prescribed duty. More karma will not bind us, provided we do the prescribed duty in Krishna consciousness. Each and every duty what we perform has either good or bad effect. But when we surrender all the reward, the benefit of whatever we do under the lotus feet of Krishna, then we do. We are not bound by the materialistic nature. Entanglement will not be there. But what about the previous karma, prarabdha karma? That you know, like so many, the seed which we have sown in the previous birth, that will give us the result now. And some of the karmas which have not given us the result will still be in our karma, a karmic account. And in our next birth, it will definitely give us the benefit. So what to do to nullify, to make our karmic account zero balance? What should we do? Do karma in Krishna consciousness. Do the same tapa, austerity, everything without expecting any result. This will nullify our previous effect. So without doing the pre uh, prescribed duties, there is no way of uh, getting forward. There is no way of elevating ourselves to the higher platform of the performing devotional service extremely important. Okay, so here. 13 and 14. Oh my Tiam Arjuna, learn from me of the five factors which bring about the accomplishment of all actions. These are declared in Sancha philosophy to be the 
play some action, performer, the senses, the endeavor, and ultimately the super soul. See, if a potter has to make a, a pot, obviously he first of all needs a place to sit and do it. Then, after that, the potter he himself is essential. Without that, who will act? who will um, bring, accumulate the raw material, who will put his knowledge. There is somebody who has to put in the knowledge, right? And the potter also have, should have the uh, interest, that is a desire to make the pot. That is known as his endeavor. And everything can happen finally if the Paramatma doesn't sanction the will. So thinking, feeling, and willing. Three factors, mind, intelligence, and the Paramatma soul. The sanction is extremely important. The Paramatma does not sanction. Not a single atom will move. So what all we need, uh, the place we need, and along with the place, the performer, the senses. The senses also include here the material because all the five senses long for the matter. So it accumulates the matter or the material and the interest and endeavor of the performer. Only the performer is there. He doesn't have any tool hand on anything. He does not have. He has to switch on the switch. How can we do it? So he needs the endeavor to switch on. Only then the motor will be on. Everything, machine is on, material is there, everything. So the endeavor of putting the material into the machine and switching on the machine. These are all the endeavors of the performer. Even everything is there, power may go. Generator is there, Mataji, that may not work. Machine may not work. Machine will go out of order. So we need that. Sanction of Paramatma. So all of you remember, even if you have to offer prasadam, everything is required. A person who is making the prasadam is required. Plus all the ingredients we have to procure from different, different sources. And the cook has to endeavor to cut the vegetable, put it on the switch on the gas, put it, okay? If everything is there also, we can make nice prasadam only when the Paramatma sanctions. Okay, so these are the very important things which we need. So last but not the least, the sanction of the uh, Supreme. That is why yesterday we learned, whatever we do, if we complete any work successfully, what should we do? Om Tat Sat. We had to tell, right? Because of the Lord's will, we were able, we were able to complete the task. So Om Tat Sat. That is the reason we say, Oh Krishna, with your sanction, we could do it. I am surrendering that reward also to, to you. That is the reason sannyasa. Renunciation is nothing but surrendering the reward. Once we complete any task. We have to say Sarvam Shri Krishna Arpanamas too. Otherwise, after every chapter we say, right? After saying, chanting so nicely. Om Tat Saditi. Right? Om Tat Sat. Very, 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 very important. See here, everything is there. Material is there. Machine is there. Person is there. Everything is there. But above all, the Paramatma is watching. He is sanctioning every single act of the devotees. One more thing, we have to perform all these things in Krishna conscious, with, in devotional service. Therefore, one who thinks himself, the doer, only doer, not considering the five factors, is certainly not very intelligent and cannot see things as they are. Every day I will tell you this uh, Verse of Prakatekriya Mana Ni Gune Karmani Sarvachaga Ahankara Vimudatma Karta Akam Iti Manyate. We should never think that Karta Akam Iti Manyate. I did it. It's very, very, very wrong to say that because of me, I was able to do it. And I am the root cause. Nothing else, no sanction or nobody's 
and whatever is required in order to complete this task. That is very uh, wrong way of thinking. Okay, so. Knowledge, the object of knowledge and the knower are the three factors we have already seen in the 13th chapter. The knowledge is the gayam, object of the knowledge is the knower, 2K, 2J and 2P, we saw, right? Gyanam and gayam, Prakriti and Purusha and uh, uh, Gyanam J, that is Jnana J is Gyanam and Jnana. The, the knowledge and the knower of the knowledge, that is K. Knowledge and the knower of the knowledge. Okay? These three factors are very, very important to motivate us. That is why this body is very, very essential in order to cross over this ocean of material nature. So if the body is not there, how will we go? In, 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 in Ishopanishad. Ishopanishad, Prabhupada writes a very, very, very beautiful purpose. In that he says, this material body is the boat and the boatman is the, you know, like a how the boatman helps this material body to cross over the material ocean. So the favorable, fav the favorable wind is very, very essential. If the wind is not favorable, we cannot go. Further to the Prabhupada says, the favorable wind is our Acharyas and Shastras. Such a beautiful book, as Srila Prabhupada given, Srila Prabhupada Ki Chai. It is a, and still a person does not endeavor to cross this ocean. It's like Atmaha. What is Atmaha? Atmaha means we are suiciding ourselves. We are suiciding means our soul. We suicide our soul. That's what Prabhupada says. That's a wonderful uh, analogy Prabhupada has given. That how important this material body is. That is the reason after giving Bhakti Yoga, Krishna wanted to tell Arjuna how important this knowledge is. 13th chapter, he gave this knowledge of for who is the doer, who, what is the knowledge, all these things. Right? We have very, in detail, we have seen in this chapter. So here, the knowledge, object of knowledge and the knower are the three factors which motivate the action, the senses, the work, and the doer. These three folds are the basis of the action. So once we get motivated with the knowledge and the object of why, object, and the objective of knowledge, KM, and the knower, who is the knower? Super soul. So once we get all this knowledge, then the super soul sanctions. He pushes the action and all collecting of the accumulating or procuring the raw material, etc. Getting the knowledge about the work in order to perform, execute. So unless and until Paramatma sanctions, we cannot execute the work. Only the mind can think and the buddhi can obviously analyze and bring all those things. Intelligence has help, can help us with all these things. But finally, the Paramatma sanction is very, very essential. Okay. So I hope you all understood. So who, what comes from where? Intelligence, mind, and the senses bring the material from outside. What is the object? What are we supposed to gain? Now here is a small exercise. I hope all of you will be with the pen and diary. So we are going to give grading to us. One, two, three, one, two, three. Different activities are given here. You have to think for yourself and you have to give marks accordingly. Are you in the Satoguna, Tamoguna, Adi? Rajoguna. For that, once if you see what is this knowledge, then you will come to it. So 18.20 tells us. So 20 means you give three marks. 21 means you give two marks. 22 means you give one mark. Because we go in the order of Satoguna, Rajoguna, and Tamoguna. So Satoguna actions are in the beginning, three marks. 
and rajoguna actions are in the middle that is um, uh, passion and at the last that is in the three category the last category is the tamoguna what we do in darkness so we have to give one more be sincere to you so that we come to know what will be the correct score once we know the correct score then only we can see unless an entry we we know which step we are in how will we know where we have to uh, keep our uh, feet so it is very important to know if we want to proceed improve ourselves in bhakti that knowledge by which one undivided spiritual nature is seen in all existence undivided in that divided at is knowledge in the mode of goodness achintya chintya beda beda chaitanya mahaprabhu gave chaitanya mahaprabhu ki jai he says you know the paramatma is undivided but at the same time divided he is divided in the form of paramatma and divided in the form of bhagavan uh, abhijna swarat he is sitting in the goloka at the same time he is sitting in everybody's heart so one who has this knowledge they are in mode of goodness if we are really in this we will never scold anybody we will not abuse anybody we will treat every living entity as part and parcel of param so the paramatma bhagavan rather right we will think we will have the feeling if somebody is going through any uh what do you call misery you will definitely give them a hand helping hand we saw in the beginning also right those who are above us we have to respect them those who are equal to us we have to love them those who are below us we need to have that who wants to say you can write in the chat we have discussed many a times so those who are below us for them what do we have to have any answer coming compassion mercy mercy ka yes prabhu ji hari krishna compassion so those who are below as compassion is equal to us love above us respect if we have that we are in goodness hari krishna thank you prabhu ji that knowledge by which a different type of living entity is seen to be dwelling in different bodies is knowledge in the mode of passion we think you know the other body he is always we say also you know such uh, sorry to use uh, some adjective we say he is ignorant he is uh, not a knowledgeable person he is such a nuisance all these things we say you no know, they are in passion we should not do that because everybody is part and parcel of the supreme personality of god here and last one that knowledge by which one is attached to one kind of work as the all in all without the knowledge of the truth and which is very meager is said to be in darkness what is this see all the time you know like we associate ourselves with something or somebody that is associate always with somebody in the sense we compare ourselves with somebody or the other that is said to be that means we are not willing to accept the absolute truth what is absolute truth absolute truth means three realization brahman paramatma and bhagavan so if we do not want to know in that brahman realization is in darkness Hare Krishna. So, rank yourself three, two, one. Now we will go to verse number twenty-three only. How we are doing action in action basis? Okay, on the basis of material nature, rajoguni action, tamoguni action, and sattvaguni action. Before this, we were having the previous line of how we identify ourselves. Here, how we do our action perform our action as for well actions that action in accordance with the duty performing the duty which is performed without any attachment without love or hate by one who has renounced fruit in himself is called action in the mode of 
goodness. Krishna told Arjuna, Arjuna, now you get up and fight for me. You leave all the attachment, compassion, those five questions. If you remember, Arjuna asked five questions. If I kill them, I'll be committing sin. I have compassion for all my kith and kin. And uh, he also said, if I kill all of them, how will the Varnashrama Dharma will flourish? And how will I have enjoyment? Finally, he told, I'm not able to decide, Krishna, you only tell me. So here, Krishna is again telling that you should perform whatever you are supposed to as an offering. Yet karochi yadasnasi yet jugoshi tadasyas. Yet tapasyas, he said, whatever austerity we perform, we have to tell, we are doing it for you, Krishna. Just learn this verse, 9.27. This should be the formula in our life. Whatever something we have to do, you know, like maybe, for example, Pitra Karma, father or ancestors, or some of them, the soul left their body. We have to, as a last right, we have to give the last right. Well, after going to the graveyard, we say, no, 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 I will not do it. If you cry, it doesn't make any sense. We have to do it. That's a duty. That is what is said in uh, Shastras. That's what we are supposed to do. So whatever Shastra says, I will do it. Like that we have to do. That is a renunciation, we call it as. We, if we have their also attachment, my son, my um, uh, husband, my wife, this attachment we have, then we are not doing the duty in renounce order. Then if you are able to do whatever comes, we have doubt. I, and then we can do, if you have doubt, that with the pranipatena pariprashena sevaya upateshan tikte jnanam jnanina tattva darshinaka. We can approach our spiritual masters. We can ask them, this is a situation, my dear spiritual master, what should I do? Humbly, politely, we can ask. We have to ask rather, wherever we are in a dilemma, whether to do it or not. But action performed with great effort by one seeking to gratify his sense displayers. We should not go to a spiritual master to ask, what can I eat? What should I eat? No. We have to ask to gratify our desire. See, I have a great desire of doing this, this Guru Maharaj. Should I do it or not? Then whatever they say, after approaching them, then there is no turning back. If they say you do it without analyzing, no Sangya philosophy, simply we have to do it. As for Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, you go to Pashtyatya Desha and spread. He didn't see how much money I have, what age I am now, nothing. He just went in the Jaladuta. He went in the ship which carried the consignment. How slowly and suffered heart attack also, okay? So by doing things for the satisfaction of grat sense gratification, that is known as the doing things in passion. And that action performed in ignorance and delusion without consideration of anything. No sympathy, no compassion for anybody, which inflicts injury and impractical. It causes injury to not only to us, to our Agitan king also, maybe people in the society also, which is not at all practical. Those who do this kind of action are said to be, they are doing action in uh, ignorance. You are not supposed to do that, isn't it? Next one. Uh -huh. The worker who is free from all material attachment, whoever is doing the work, should not think that I am doing the work. He should think, he should be beyond the material concept. That means I am the Atma, I am not the body. And resolute. And who is in, he is indifferent to success or failure. Uh, uh, jaya, 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 Laba, Laba. What is that? Sukha sukha samukritve, laba laba ujayaya jaya, sukham dukham, and laba laba, whether I get um, loss or gain, and whether I get 
Jaya Jaya. Success are failure. We should not bother about that. Only they are the that uh, Krishna Arjuna Ashinu, who are the um, uh, who are the Sita Pragya. How do they walk? How do they think? Right? Krishna tells all these answers in second chapter. So many. In the second chapter is again, it's like a conclusion, a culmination of all of Bhagavad Gita. So he says, we should not bother. If we have decided to do that, something, we should not be bothered about, am I going to get success or failure? But that worker who is attached to the fruits of his labor and who passionately wants to enjoy them, who is greedy, envious, impure, and moved by only happiness and distress is a worker in the mode of passion. If I'm going to get happiness, I will do it. If I'm going to get distress, I'm not going to. So he's not beyond the bodily concept. One who is beyond that, failure or success, they are in mode of goodness. And that worker who is always engaging in work against the injection of the scripture, who is materialistic, obstinate, cheating, and expert in insulting others, who is lazy, always morose, procrastinating, is a worker in the mode of ignorance. Yesterday also we saw this, right? Tamoguna. Tamoguna is actually lazy. With so much laziness, why do I have to get her? Why do I have to read Shastra? Somebody is telling me to read. That is why I want to read. No. All these are procrastinating. We are not supposed to do all these things. Yesterday we saw even the, you know, like uh, boga. Preparing boga. We should not prepare what we want. What will be good for us. What is that uh, um, very pungent, spicy? So we are the worker, right? We are impulsed by all this tamoguna. That means Krishna will not accept our offering. Okay? So you can now see where do you stand. Vosana partha. That understanding by which one knows what ought to be done, what ought not to be. The correct and the incorrect. They should know. That is a pure Atma will automatically know. What if we do, it will be good for not only me, but for others also because Paramatma stays in others' heart. What is to be feared and what is not to be. So, but we generally do the reverse. We uh, get afraid of lizard and other things. We don't get afraid of the death. But what we have to get afraid of in reality is the we should not. See, even in death, death we should not get afraid. Oh, oh, death comes, it's fine. Okay. Because I am not the body, I am the soul. I will take rebirth. I will come back again. Binding and what is liberating. That uh, understanding is established in the mode of goodness. So one who knows that where we should get afraid, where I not, where what I should do, what I should not, and which action if I do, I will get bondage, which action if I do, I will get liberated. Second one, that is passion, mode of goodness. And that understanding which cannot distinguish between the religious and irreligious. In the previous slide also, I wanted to say, in the Tamogunik, it was written, impious activity. So that are the um, ignorant activity. So here also, what is religious bias and impious? Between action that should be done and action that should not be done. Pious activity should be done. Devotional services should be done. Impious activity should not be done. That imperfect understanding was in the is in the mode of passion. That understanding which considers Irreligion to be religion and religion to be irreligion. When we do the sacrifice, you know, these kind of doubts come to us. What is correct? What is incorrect? Under the spell of illusion and darkness. So under the spell of illusion, what happens? We think the correct one is wrong and the wrong one is correct. Because we are in the movement and stays always in the wrong direction. That is in the mode of Ignorance. The Lord says, now we have to 
I think this is the last one. Osana Partha, what that determination in which unbreakable, which is sustained with steadfastness by yoga practice. And that's, that controls the mind, life, and the acts of senses is in the mode of goodness. What was that? Yesterday we saw, you know, the devotional service. One nice family was sitting and chanting. Mother, father, and the children, all of them are sitting and chanting the name of the Lord. We got to be well determined in practicing the witch yoga, bhakti yoga. Extremely important. We have to say the pranam mantra of a, um, a daily of uh, Krishna, Radha Rani, Guru Maharaj, everybody's pranam mantra we have to say. And that with the, without any, um, what to say, that obstinate, we saw no, with determination, conviction. With the conviction, we have to do that. Mangalarti, read the scriptures. All these things keep us in the yoga. That means they unite us with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And that determination by which one holds fast to fruitive result in religion, economic development, and sense gratification is of the nature of passion. Kama, moksha, artha kama moksha. Artha is the economic development. Kama is the sense gratification. Moksha is the fruitive activity in religion. Artha kama moksha. Okay. And that determination, which cannot go beyond dreaming. There's no determination at all. We only simply sit and daydream. Tomorrow I will definitely get up at 3, 3.30, and I will chant in the Brahma Mukta. The day never comes. Fearfulness, lamentation, then we will, ah, uh, after 7 o'clock. Yesterday only I thought I will definitely get up at 3.30 or 4. Today again I got up at 7 o'clock, sit and lament. More senses. Then what happens? We are not able to satisfy our whatever we thought. We are not able to do it. Then we show the anger on others. We think because of others' mistake, we did not do it. That's the illusion we have. Then we shout. Children shout generally. All the mothers may agree. In the night, children will say, wake me up at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. I have a lot to study. Next day, I have exam. But when we go to make them up, if they are in Tamasik Guna, how much ever they try, we cannot. Then they wake up at 8 o'clock, they shout at us. Why didn't you wake up? When we say, no, 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 we, I won't fear. They don't believe, they shout hearts only, shout at us, saying, you did not wake me up properly. Even if I have said, no, you should have done something and woken me up, that, that is what they talk in morals. Okay? That which in the beginning may be, just like poison, and at the end, it is like nectar. This is known as Srila Prabhupada's written in one of the purpose, Shreya and Preya. Shreya are those things, short time, short term pleasure, long term pain. Preya is short term pain, long term pleasure. So what gives pain in the short term will give pleasure in the long term. Okay, so just for example, our children, we take them for so many different, 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 different classes in the summer break, right? Bhagavatam class, Krishna, Katha class, and you know, something they uh, teach the children how to draw Krishna's past signs, we take. But it's a pain that time to take them with the children also. But the pleasure, if you think of, we cannot even compare anything, right? So just like nectar in the future and which awakens one to self-realization is said to be happiness in the mode of goodness. What is the self-realization? I am not the body and the soul, that is all. So finally, we will start realizing any pain coming also, we will say, these are not temporary, this too shall pass. That happiness which is derived from contact of the senses with other objects, which appears like nectar at first, but poison at the end is said to be the in the mode of passion. Mainly these days, cigarette. Children in class five, six, 
talk about not only cigarette they talk about a relation in you know like uh, i attend one class one a gurukula principal school principal we have gurukula right that principal takes class he says even class 3 4 children they get into relationship parents bring them and we try to tell them they in turn advise us only both of us are very much determined you people don't take it uh, that uh, you know like lightly both of us are very committed to each other this is what they say that is short term pain and long term sorry short term pleasure and long term pain and that happiness which is blind to self realization we don't even want to understand what is the veda what is the real knowledge we don't want to which is delusion from beginning to the end we live in maya only which arises from sleep laziness and illusion is said to be the nature of ignorance that is uh, what is the charva dharma and paritajya வெரி குட் excellent we are towards self realization six means down no we have to again one more time attain level 1 if you are near 12 okay you can go for level 2 if you are in 18 you can go for level 3 again you will get call you know sometime when you join level 2 when i join i got a call asking those who are chanting 16 rounds if you are interested in you can directly join level 3 okay hari krishna that knowledge by which one undivided spiritual nature is seen in all living entities though they are divided into innumerable forms you should understand to be in the mode of goodness we have already seen this right so time is very short when is the end going to come so we don't know even if the lord standing in front of us our yamaduta standing in front of us also we don't understand right so very short time. was an apart that determination which is unbreakable which is sustained and steadfastness by yoga practice and which is thus controls the activities of the mind life and senses in determination is the more of goodness yes so we saw all these things right okay so finally krishna is telling what are the final last para we call it as right these are the things we have to adapt understanding where we stand these are the result these are the uh, remedial actions that is 18.42 shamo namaste chakshacham shantil arjavame vacha gyanam vijnanam astikyam brahma karma swabhavajam uh peacefulness self control austerity purity tolerance honesty wisdom knowledge and religiousness these are the qualities by which the brahmanas work that is brahmanas always working sattva guna right and uh, in the mode of passion that is passion generally kshatriya shauryam tejo druti daksham ீஸ்வரபாவ்ரீஸ்வரபாவ்ரீஸ்வரபாவ கிருஷிகோரட்சியவாணிச்சியம் 
passion, mode of goodness, and um, vaishyas are both in the mode of passion and the um, ignorance and shudras totally in ignorance. Yesterday also we saw same thing, right? So Krishna is going on telling again and again before he concludes. Okay. Yata pravirti bhuktana yena sarvamidam tam svakarmana tam abhyacha siddhim vindati manava by worship of the Lord who is in the source of all being and who is all pervading man can in the performance of his own duty attain perfection. Do your duty and renounce the reward of your work. This is the only formula. Do duty, duty, duty. Otherwise, why did Krishna give us Varnashama Dharma? Brahmana means spread the knowledge. Chatriya means give protection. Vaishya means give Vanijya, immersion. That is the farming and Anna, grain, everything we develop, transport, merchant, taking the grains from one place to another. And the, finally, the um, menial work, that is the Shudra spirit. This is a nice example, a nice picture. It is a wonderful picture. Sheyan Swadharmo Vigunaga Paradharma Swatnishtitat Swabhava Vinayam Karma Kurvanna Knoti Kilvisham Krishna says, it is better to engage once in own occupation, even though one may perform it imperfectly, than to accept another's occupation and perform it per perfectly. Right? Duties prescribed according to one's nature are never affected by sinful reaction. Why these days so much anartha in the society? Because we have forgotten that Varnashama Dharma. Brahmanas are trying to give protection. Sudras are coming into Sudra, but at the same time, if they are in devotion, then there is no Sudra Brahmana. Example, Haridas Thakur, right? Our Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami. But here they were working for the king as in kings are Muslim kings are palace, right? But here, what it is said is, if we are doing only karma in Varnashrama Dharma, not devotional service we are talking about. So it is better to do any work imperfectly in our dharma. In shed, oh, I am very good in trade, though I am in a brahmana. I say, no, 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 I want to do business. So we go to business. And this uh, Vaishyas, they want to come and spread the knowledge. What will happen? Telling the fish to climb the tree. Can the fish climb the tree? This is what the education system now is. We try to make everybody excellent in all the activities. How is it possible? Can the elephant climb the tree? That's a beautiful, uh, uh, what to say, it's a workshop we can conduct. Can fish climb the tree? But parents want that. They don't have knowledge, but still parents insist. I want my child to become only doctor or engineer without even realizing their capacity. One can obtain the results of renunciation simply by self-control and by performing unattached to material things and disregarding material enjoyment. That's the highest perfection of Sveda. Renunciation. So what is renunciation? Do your duty with the self-control without getting uh, distracted with the material nature, with un unalloyed focus, with unattachment to the material enjoyment. If you can do that, that is a perfect stage of attaining perfection. That is renunciation. Renunciation is not leaving everything and going. Bhaktiya mahamma bhi jakna ki yavang ischam tattva thaga tato maam tattva to yatva vishate tadan anantaram. One can understand me as I am, as a supreme personality of Godhead, only by devotional service. And when one is in full consciousness of me by such devotion, he can enter into my 
kingdom. Bhakti Amam Abhijanati. So Bhagavan says that only those people, Abhijanati, who can jan, janna means no. Who can know me? Who are in pure devotional service. <coughs> only they can know about me. Nobody else. Sarva Karman, Sarva Karman Yapi. Sorry, yes, 56, no? Yeah. Sarva Karman Yapi Sada Kurvan, our no Madhya, Madhya, Pashe Yaka, Matrasadavan, Apnoti, Shashwatam, Padamam, Vyayam. Though engaged in all kinds of activities, my pure devotee under my perfection reaches the eternal and imperishable abode by my grace. Unless and until I sanction, until, unless and until I give with my grace, I take the devotee to my abode, it's not possible. So though they are engaged in all the activities, my pure devotee, I will take him under my protection to the imperishable abode. Once we go there, we don't come back at all to that abode. Okay? Then, Machitta Sarva Durgani Matprasada Trishyasi Atta Chetvam Ahankaratan and Shros Yasi Vinan Kshyasi If you become conscious of me, you will pass over all the obstacles of conditional life by my grace. If, however, you don't work in such consciousness, but act through false ego, not hearing me, you will be lost. <laughs> that is why that uh, uh, Leela, Damodar Leela, we saw no, unless and until we endeavor Krishna's love and mercy. So the two finger shot, why our endeavor might have been Less or God's grace is not there. So how much ever we endeavor, finally the Lord's free personality of God yet says, Krishna says, if my grace is not there with you, you cannot. For that, what do you need? We have to act without the false ego. The false ego and the pride only brought us from upstairs down in this uh, Martyr Loka. Why did we come? Because, because of our Ishwara Sarva Bhutana Kritya Shojana Tishtati Brahmayan Sarva Bhutani Yetra Rudani Mayaya. The Supreme Lord is the, the Supreme Lord is situated in everyone's heart, Varjuna, and is directing the wanderings of all living entities who are seated as on a machine made of the material energy. You see, material energy, they get uh, right away. Like if we sit in an airplane, it takes away from the, this um, uh, loka, right? From the sea, uh, what do you say? Above the sky, sky plan. So here, what Krishna is saying, uh, you remember that the Lord is situated in everyone's heart. If you remember, you will also know that the Lord only directs instead of wandering here and there as a living entity without having that faith in him. It's always better to think that the Lord will guide me. He will help me to accomplish the task of serving in devotion. Tameva charanam gacha sarva bhavena bharata tat prasadat param shanti stanam prapyasi chashvatam ocha enough bharata surrender unto him utterly. By his grace, he will attain transcendental peace and the supreme and the eternal abode. Again, Lord has already told us the same thing 5.29. Bhoktaram ikitapasam sarva loka maheshwaram. Subhidam Sarva Bhutana Gyatva Mam Shantin Richati. He told, right? I am the ultimate enjoyer. I am the uh, benefactor. I am the controller. So please surrender to me. Iti te jnana makyatam gushyad grahyataram maya vimrishyaita 
ಶೇಷೇಣ ಯಥೇಚ್ಛಸಿ ತಥಾ ಗುರು ಸಾರಿ ತಥಾ ಕುರು ದಸ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಟು ಯು ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಡೆಲಿಬರೇಟ್ ಡೆಲಿಬರೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಡು ವಾಟ್ ಯು ವಿಶ್ ನಾವು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಂಫಸಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಅರ್ಜುನ ವಾಟ್ ever you have to tell you i have to do now it is your wish the liberty see here also krishna gave the free will krishna never ever interfered in the free will so after giving all the knowledge now it is up to you my dear arjuna if you want to surrender to me listen to me whatever i said get up and fight otherwise you can do whatever you desire arjuna uvacha ನಷ್ಟೋ ಮೋಹಸ್ಕೃತಿರ್ಲಬ್ಧಿ ಗತ ಸಂದೇಹ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಸೆ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓ ಇನ್ಫಾಲಿಬಲ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಮೈ ಇಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನೌ ಗಾನ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ರೀಗೈಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಮೆಮರಿ ಬೈ ಯೋ ಮಸಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನೌ ಫಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡೌಟ್ and i am prepared to act according to your instructions what does this shloka say surrender surrender to the lord with conviction so arjuna surrender to the lord with conviction okay and he started fighting manmana bhava madbhakto madhya jima namaskuru mami vaishyasi satyam te prati jane priyo sime always think of me and become my devotee worship me offer your homage unto me thus you will come to me without fail a promise i promise you this because you are my dear friend krishna himself says man man always if you remember me i will only take care of you just now we saw he directs us that confidence we should have we should never see it at my end ever all with his sanction i am able to ಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮಾನ್ ಪರಿತ್ಯಜ ಮಾಮೇಕಂ ಶರಣಂ ವ್ರಜ ಆಗಮ್ ತ್ವಾಂ ಸರ್ವ ಪಾಪೇಭ್ಯೋ ಮೋಕ್ಷಯಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಮಾ ಶುಚ ಅಬಂಡನ್ ಆನ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಲಿಜನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು ಮೀಸ್ ಐ ಶ್ಯಾಲ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ಯು ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೇನ್ಫುಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಡೂ ನಾಟ್ ಫಿಯೋರ್ ಇದಂತೆ ನಾಥಪಸ್ಕಾಯ ನಾ ಭಕ್ತಿಯ ಕದಾಚನ ನ ಚಾಶ್ವೇ ವಾಚ್ಯಂ ನ ಚ ಮಾಂ ಯೋಭ್ಯ ಸೂಯತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಟು ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಆರ್ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೀ ಸೊ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ they will not be in a position to understand so krishna because krishna arjuna was non envious he has surrendered and he is a true devotee krishna told him yaidam paranam guhyam madbhakteshvabi dhasyasi bhaktim mai param kritva mam evaishyacha samshayam for one who explains this supreme secret to the devotees pure devotional service is guaranteed and at the end he will come back to me this is what our acharyas do guru maharaj all of them to this only they want to take all of us back back to god home right god help yeah. this last uh, slide sorry okay 18.69 ನಚ ತಸ್ಮನ್ ಮನುಷ್ಯು ಕಷ್ಟ ಮೇ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕೃತ್ತಮಃ ಭವಿತಾನೀತಸ್ಮಿಯಿಯತರೋಭುವಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ನೋ ಮೋ ಡಿಯರ್ ಟು ಮೀ ದಿ ನಾ ವಿಲ್ ದೇ ಎವರ್ ಬಿ one more dear there will be no servant in this world more dear to me that is those who serve the supreme personality of god head they are very very dear to the lord nor will there ever be one more dear more than him definitely there will not be no 
no one dandy first we say, say no no the other dandy first so there is nobody else other than only the devotee who can come to me adyeshyate cha ya adyeshye cha ya idam imam dharmyam samvada mavayoho yatna yajnena tenaham ishtasyam iti me mati and i declare that he who studies this sacred conversation worships me by his intelligence that means krishna is saying that of course he will read by he will come to me by his intelligence once he learn this knowledge of sacrifice everything don't get attached to karma phala now finally sanjaya tells dhritarashtra sanjaya said thus Now I heard the conversation of the two great soul Krishna and Arjuna, and so wonderful is that the message that my hair is standing on and yet by the mercy of Vyasa, I have heard these most confidential talks directly from the master of all mysticism, Krishna, who was speaking personally to Arjuna, talking as I repeatedly recall this wondrous. and holy dialogue between krishna and arjuna i take pleasure being thrilled at every moment so by saying this and also krishna teaches us you know like we have to be grateful to our acharyas because of vedya vyasa sanjaya got this gyana chakshu right otherwise it was not possible for him so he also expresses his gratitude that he was able to hear and see what are the supreme personality of god said offered arjuna walking when i remember the wonderful form of lord krishna i stuck with the even greater wonder and i rejoiced again and again while i was seeing also i was not wondering this much but now i am thinking and remembering i am able to rejoice more and ஒப்பீனியன்ஸ் surrender so that's why krishna always says you know like more than me worship my devotee so wherever krishna and arjuna are there without any doubt definitely there will be the victory yatra yogeshwara krishna yatra parthodan urjaraga tatra shri vijaya bhuti durvani tirmati mamaga yatra yogeshwara krishna yatra parthodan urjaraga tatra shri vijaya bhuti durvani tirmati mamaga hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare 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 krishna mata ji san prabhu ji such a wonderful journey thank you so much 15 minutes i requested yesterday only because such a big chapter many slides more than 50 slides thank you very very much for being with us in this journey so i thank namanishta prabhu for you know taking so much of effort in preparing the uh, slides etc and aishwarya mata ji who gave me this opportunity chitra mata ji who has been from day one i have been in fact you know like vrindavan yatra traveling etc so last but not the least each and every devotee here who motivated me to be a part of this learning process and uh, if i have really told anything something wrong please correct me also anything by mistake if it has hurt anybody i humbly request all of you to forgive me panchakalpata rupasya kripa sindhu bhai evacha patitana bhavane bhu vaishna vidyo namo namaha namaste vaishna vidya ki jai shila prabhupad ki jai shrimad bhagavad gita ki jai namanisha prabhu ki jai hari krishna hari krishna krishna hari 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 rama hari rama 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 hari hari